I want to talk about some efficiency that's been happening uh, in Laventel East constituency, definitely. So to do that, I have none other than the minister himself. Uh, but before we... No, not the budget. The minister himself is here, Mr. Um, the Honourable Adrian Leons, Minister of Housing and Urban Development. And he's also the MP for Laventel East. So good morning to you, sir. Good morning, good morning. All right. And I also have with, with me here on set uh, is Shakira Thompson. She's a project member for this project that we've been working on. You've been, you guys have been working on. Yes, yes. And yes. also with us this morning is Seju Liu Star as well, another project member. Yes. So tell me about this brand new efficient way to communicate with your office. Well, it's something that I must say, after I give credit to the, the persons in my community, two of them being here, um, this whole pandemic, this COVID, mm -hmm. you know, it created a, an issue in terms of people co coming to see me. You know, there there be crowds outside, and obviously that is against how, how regulations. To, yeah. yeah. So having there was a difficulty in having persons social distancing and still trying to make them comfortable. You know, so so we had discussions and and these young bright persons came up with this, you know. I I don't want to take the take it away from them. I would like them to All right. Well Shakira experience. tell me about, about the idea. How did it how did it start? How did it start for you? Okay, so basically the idea COVID sped up the process. Mm -hmm. But it was always going to happen in this this modern in these modern times where technology, technology. is everything. Yeah. Um during the campaign trail because we worked with Mr. Leon's okay. during the elections and most of the complaints were people weren't really going to see him and sometimes constituency they you could only see so many persons of course um persons who work eight to four it would definitely be like basically impossible to meet with him because sometimes they leave home at five o'clock and there's a crowd at the office already waiting you take an hour for lunch and you you know where near to see yeah. him so COVID definitely sped up things and decided that we would, we would make Mr. Leo our pilot project as it relates to the e-service. Um, okay. And it was definitely an easy process because he is open to the change. Nice. So the, the transition was easy. Yeah. So because he gave you a lot of opportunity and yes. that space to be able yes. to, to contribute. I want to throw upstairs to say Drew Leo Star, he was here with us, but of course because of social distancing, upstairs in the other studio. So Seju, I want you to tell me about the process of actually creating this service, this online service, because I understand that you are the tech person dealing with the, the actual creation. Tell me about the process. Okay, hi, good morning, Trinidad and Tobago. So um, my partner and I, we um, came up with the idea to, to establish this, this program called the e-resident service where um, it provides a bridge um, in, in, in the gap where the communication between the constituency MP and the residents can happen, where residents can actually request for assistance online from the MP as well as apply for various services online through the MP office. Um, it's a really good opportunity. It provides convenience um, and it manages you having to, as Shakira would have mentioned before, having to go to the MP's office to wait um, and possibly not being even able to see or connect with your MP and um, you know just request the service that you really desire. So I think it was a really good opportunity and uh, Mr. Leon's being the, the receptive person that he is towards innovation and change. Um, it was really an honor to be a part of this um, experience. So it's basically like the first of its kind um, at a local level for constituency that we'll be providing. Fantastic. Uh, Minister Leons, I want to know what has the response been so far? Well, we launched it um, on an evening time. We launched it on an evening time. And in about two hours, we had over 400 um, wow. persons registering and putting in their, their, their positions. What are, somebody, what are some of the things people want? Well, because I'm in the ministry of housing <laughs> and urban development yeah. they want a yeah. house um <laughs> yeah they want they 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 would they would request housing however that 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 has not been different from, from before. before right you know um but a number of persons would come um and ask because of the covid you know we did a lot of food hampers 
during the period. So they would come and they would ask for some food assistance. Some persons would ask for employment. Um, some persons would ask for repairs with, with their homes, you know. Um, so it, 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 it varies, but yes, the, the majority of the persons um, ask for housing. Does it assistance. make it easier? Does it make this, um, this, this service, does it make it easier for you to be able to say, all right, well, I have everything in writing here so that I can now deal with it systematically, accordingly, and you know, faster? Well, it, it streams line the information, right. and it also provides a, a, a base where we have data where we can do analysis, we can do follow-up, we can see our success, mm -hmm. you know, so, so the data is what will really feed how we move forward and, and design some strategies in terms of where to improve or where we need more resources and even as a minister in the ministry, even to, to make suggestions to possible policy changes to make things improve, you know, so... The paper trail helps with yeah, all of those yeah, things. so it's a good platform to, to actually accumulate the data and do some analysis in terms of moving forward. All right. I want to just throw back upstairs to Seju for a second. Seju, tell me about uh, how the team works together to be able to analyze the data properly in order to, to get all of this information. If 400 people are applying in a matter of 24 hours, you know, how do we streamline all this information to get it effectively and efficiently to the minister in time for him to be able to say, all right, let's go through this, get back to people, in a nice amount of time, you said five days according to the RSO. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So days. to get back to the people in five days, how do we make this as efficient as possible? Okay, so what happens is when our residents go online, their list of various services um, that they can apply for, they can request assistance for, and the, the, the convenience is within that, up, upon submission of your um, re request, you, you automatically receive um, uh, an email um, stating that your, your information has been received and it will be processed and reviewed within um, a short time and then you would also be contacted um, within the administrators in the office within five days. What happens is we are able to draw that data from um, our system, our program that we designed based on the code that implemented, that it also provides data such as the age, um, sex, where you live, um, the, the, the type of service that you need, um, the list of the list the list of data is is is, is endless. You know, so it, whatever is um, required of the MP, whatever data that he needs, um, we're just able to 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 generate that from our system within the, the touch of a button. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very much, Seju, for joining us this morning and for sharing this information. Also, thank you very much, thank you, Shakira, for and congratulations, guys. This is thank a fantastic a initiative, a and I hope to see other constituencies taking up this you know, initiative and running with it because I do believe that having the paper trail would of course make it easier, yeah. not just for you to do the job, but also to be able to inform your colleagues in, yeah. in Parliament as well as, you know, the other people that need the information to help move it forward fast, as fast as possible. So congratulations. Thank you very much. And thank you guys so much for, you know, the great ideas. Keep yeah. it up. Yeah, thank you. Thank All right, guys, we'll be right back. Of course, at the top of the hour, we have Major Network News and we'll be back again with more inside the next hour.